What's up everybody? Robert Tyson here. I'm a technologist and an IT instructor and welcome to the instructor's guide to cyberspace during the coronavirus. This is a video series I've put together that can help you get up and going from your office space in creating content and engaging your students. So without further ado, let's begin. What are we thinking about here? Why are we doing this? The coronavirus is spreading and it's got everybody alarmed, um, including myself. So, our institutions are going completely online in their instruction and all that they're doing. Um, so, we have to learn and think about how we're going to engage our students. Um, this is, this is a critical to do this the right way. Um, we want to make sure they continue learning at the level or at a higher level, even than when we had them in person, face-to-face. Uh, -face. Um, so, the first thing we want to think about there when it comes to engaging them is why. The why behind this is you are the leader of a group of people that want to succeed. And they're looking at you to give them instruction and direction on how they can succeed in the specific discipline you're in. For me, it's IT. For you, it might be history or English or math or any discipline that you're teaching. They're looking to you to succeed beyond just your class, but in their future. You're preparing them to excel. So let's think about what's the best way to do that. Um, and, and I just share what I found is usually it's that in person you're getting to know them. And you're by the uh, everyday interaction or every other day or just a consistent uh, interaction. Um, so what I'm doing in lieu of all this is I'm going to be meeting online with my students and doing a web conference during the regularly scheduled time. So, you know, if it's 8 to 10, you want to do 8 to 10 online. Um, also, in addition to that, you may want to consider doing video content, just like this video here. Um, it can help them go back and see that that what you've captured, and really that's what you're doing. You're capturing knowledge, and you're capturing your own knowledge, and, and as an added benefit to it, you can uh, watch it over again yourself and look at how you can improve in the way you're delivering instruction, but also in the way that um, uh, maybe you've got some quirks that, that people... They don't work so well for others. Like sometimes I can stutter. Sometimes I, I use the term so a lot. And that can be distracting. So maybe this is some of the stuff that can help us get better as teachers as well. But above all else, it's going to help you reach your students better. Um, so the first thing you really need to be able to do is dedicate some space at home. Um, whether it's an office or the kitchen or somewhere that you can kind of separate from from the others in your household and focus solely on what, what you're trying to do, and that is to reach your students. So everything is built around that. And in my mind, my creation studio, which I'm getting ready to show you all in this video, is built around the idea of how can I make this engaging as possible, right? Like you can see Darth Vader back there. What's up, Vader? You can see him back there. That's just my desktop background. I actually have a green screen back here, and, and I'm going to show you. So you need to think about the technology tools needed for this. Of course, you need a computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop computer. Um, if it's a laptop, you have your webcam, you have a built-in mic, and that's really enough. Um, I would recommend a USB mic. Uh, just to help with the quality of your sound and so they can hear your crisp voice, right? Because um, I know all y'all out there have some beautiful voices and beautiful faces too. So webcam would be great. It makes it more personable uh, in, in my experience. And as I've communicated all this to my, to my students and learners, by the way, is they've been optimistic and responding in a great way. They're excited about starting this. So um, I, it seems like it's going to work really well. And, and once it starts, I'll tell you, and I'll keep you updated, but I'm feeling good about this. So without further ado, let me show you my workspace to give you kind of a model maybe for you to, to build off of. So I'm getting ready to plug my phone in. I found an app out there. It's called the iOS um, Camera for OBS. And that this software I'm using to capture, which I can actually show you on my screen, this is OBS. So I'm going to plug my phone into the USB port on the side of my laptop and use this app. I have an app open on my phone as well that allows me to capture and use the power of this amazing camera. I mean, think about it. You've got 
a mic and a camera right here. You might be able to just use your phone, right? And I've got a I've got a mount for it on the way, so I'll show you. I can I can actually put this on an arm and and retract it around the room as if it was on a tripod. So look at look at that as well. I'll, I'll link you to some of the products in the dis, in the in the description to to some Amazon pages that allow you to get like a, a mounting arm for for this. So let let me show you the the lab or the content creation studio. My 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 setup's like a office slash content creation studio slash IT lab. Because it's all connected to me. So I'm connecting my phone now. The OBS iOS camera app is open. And then I'm going to go ahead and show it. So iOS, iOS camera, camera is going to pop, pop up, up here. here. And, and now, now you, you see, see it. it. Right? right? It's, it's kind of cool. cool. So, so I'm, I'm going to twirl, twirl around, around a little bit. bit and you, you can, can see, see that, that my green, green screen, screen is behind, behind me. me. And, and that's, that's where, where we're getting, getting that Darth, Darth Vader, Vader from. from. And whatever, whatever lives on my screen, screen. I, can I can open up a browser and it would show that. that. This, this isn't static, static right? right? So, so I could open the browser. Open the browser. Bam, bam. Right? right? And, and then, then you can, can see, see my, my, my desk. desk. I'll, I'll stand, stand up for you. So it's a pretty modest setup, but keep in mind, you can use your, your phone. Your phone makes a, a wonderful tool. So with that, I do want to start this video off just letting you know this is, this is going to be something that, um, that we got to do. It's exciting. I'm excited for the rest of this video series. I'm going to try to keep it short. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the longer videos. Um, everything else I'm going to try to keep under 10 minutes so that you can just get to creating for yourself and, and, and engaging your students the best way that you can. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to see whenever I release new videos. But also, um, feel free to start making content as soon as you can to reach your students. I look forward to seeing you all back in the next video. Have a good one and good luck.